Hello everyone, this is Ren Gast. Welcome to part one of my Crusader Kings 2 Historical Immersion Project Byzantine Empire Let's Play. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Historical Immersion Project is an overhaul mod for uh, Crusader Kings 2, and it adds quite a bit of depth to the game. So first thing you'll notice here is... Um, I'm actually trying to think of a good thing to show you. Obviously, there's localization here on the map. Also, you don't have the Charlemagne start date. That just did, They are not going to add that in. They've set a point blank. Um, other than that, you'll notice there are several extra start dates. And when I say several, that is an understatement. Um, other than that, that's the color scheme's a little different. But we're going to be playing as the Byzantine Emperor, Basilius Basilios of the Basilia Romaion. And this will give me a chance to use some of the limited Greek that I know. So yay, go me. Um, once this loads, we'll have a few extra details in here that I'll be able to show you. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so Extended Mechanics and Flavor is a, it's, it's a mod, or set of mods, that all work together to give uh, different events that'll fire and things. It's all managed by a quote-unquote character in the game, Isis, um, the Egyptian deity, not to be confused with that other group. Um, and, you know, you know, crazy stats, but the, she basically kind of runs the show. I don't know if you can actually, you know, assassinate her. I've never tried. I'm a little scared to because I don't know what happened. Other than that, um, it's pretty similar to your standard game. Still have um, your five. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that one came from. Your five counselors. Uh, they all have localized names now, though, so they're a bit more. In this case, Greek. So, Logothetes Tau uh, Dromo, Megas Domesticas, Megas Logothetes, or Legothetes, Mysticas, and the Ecclesiarch. So, they fulfill the exact same functions, they've got the exact same uh, abilities. Now, we're already involved in two wars here. So one of the first things that we're going to do is deal with that. I think we're going to deal with the Polican one first, because they should be easy enough to kind of field wipe. Let's see, 17... Fifteen... Fourteen... Fourteen, thirteen, thirteen, twelve, and twelve. Okay, now that's all set. Quick focus, we're going to, oh my god, that learning thread is horrendous. So yeah, we are definitely going to do this. Pick an ambition, let's try to um, increase our prestige. So we can create some vice royalties. And we can create that, which we will do in a little bit. Okay, so other than um, other than that sort of stuff, there are some other things you'll you'll notice. Well, okay, we'll have to start the game, but there are different sets of factions in here. Uh, your laws are different, so you'll notice King's Peace is in here, your theme system. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the theme system, uh, first off, I highly recommend that you check out the History of Byzantium podcast. Uh, it's a continuation of Mike Duncan's History of Rome podcast, albeit, uh, albeit by a different individual, but it's very good. And it, they go into 
depth as to what exactly the theme system is. But basically, all you have to know is it's just how the Empire was set up. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's raise some troops here. And like I said, first things first, we are going to work on the Polycans over here. Speed up a little bit. Good, we can hire boats. Oh, hold on. That didn't take long. Okay, so time to keep moving him around. Keep trying to get rid of the Polycans. And now we can move this up. And which way are they fleeing? I think they're fleeing down here. Yep. Stand up here. Okay. Take out that army really quickly. Now we just wait for this to siege out. And as soon as we win this, we're going to swing back over to Sicily here, where this other war is. Try to take that over. Or expel. What is this? Okay, they're trying, trying to conquer, so try to expel them from our lands there. Okay, that's 100%. Great. Okay, now everybody move over here. So, like I was saying, there are different factions. So you'll see you have the court faction, tradition, glory, and prosperity. Uh, they all have different things that they like, things that they don't like. And the trick is to try to strike the balance. And I believe somewhere it'll say what their mood is, but I'm not sure where to find it. It's been a while since I've, since I've messed around in... Um, Historical Immersion Project. Come on, get that army over there. Thank you. Um, I'll risk it. Okay, our daughter was born in the purple. That's always nice. So what I'm thinking for this one is probably doing a... Um, Kind of a grand campaign here, and um, after I complete this game, obviously I'm going to try to unify the Roman Empire, uh, but then also I'm going to try to, um, I'll convert this into EU4 using the converter, and then from there continue it and try to conquer the rest of the world. So I'm not sure exactly how much of the map we're going to be able to pick up here. 
because historical immersion project can be quite a bit harder. Now that army's toast. Okay, they've got us by about two thirds now. I never say no to help in these wars. up a little bit. Crap, we're going to have to really move to get them now. Dosi is pregnant again. Alright, I kind of expected that, but I put a halt on the siege for a second. Yep, we got him. Okay, let's see which way he's going. Looks like this way. Bouncing back over here. Oh, good. Let's continue this theme. Court faction is now neutral. All right. Okay, we've got a son. Which one of these is the theme capital? This is the one annoying thing about playing an emperor with vice royalties. You're constantly getting these. Oh yeah, hey, you just inherited this this vice royalty. I'm going to find out. Sure. Because what's the Byzantine Empire without a lot of intrigue? Ecumenical Patriarch. Drop him over there. Address chances. 9%. Okay.
Almost there. And I've dipped into the negatives. I kind of expected that, though. Yeah, I'm going to train you for Marshall. Forty-six percent. Uh, let's see. What do I have nearby for pagans? Fair amount. I don't currently have Zealous. I guess I'll pick it up. My family's from north coast of Sicily. I was curious if they had uh, the town my family's from. Okay, so we've got the Thracesian theme. this thought I sieged these out. Apparently not. Okay, come on. Sure, we'll put them in irons. Yeah, I'll just go up here and see this out. Ah, actually, move over here. Since he's defending, of course I've picked up depressed. Because why wouldn't I do something like that? Capture him. Oh well. There you got him. Glory faction. Oh, okay. His is worse and ours is improved.
Uh, sure, let's try to pick up some piety now. Please, dangerous faction, lower crown authority, of course. Organize the Varangian Guard. Okay, so. Uh, we're at the 20 minute mark. So let's wrap this up, and just to give an idea of what we're going to do here going forward, we're obviously going to try to mend the schism. Uh, so that means we're going to have to take over... Well, we already have Constantinople. Then we're going to need to take over... I'm just going to assume some of these, because I don't speak Arabic. Uh, but I think the second one... Uh, anyway, it's going to be um, Constantinople, Antioch, Jerusalem, uh, Alexandria, and Rome. Those are the ancient seas, the five patriarchal seas. Um, then from there, we will work on taking over the empire. And then this will actually give us other ideas of what's going on. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, not, nothing that will go and try to restore the actual borders. No, the de jure borders of the Byzantine Empire. Before we really go on from there, but yeah. So that's, uh, that's all for now. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave any comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.